Hi guys, so I wanted to do a quick video because a buggy is still sleeping and I thought this would be the perfect time to get my uh, first pregnancy update done because I haven't done like a pregnancy update video. Me and Travis did a Q&A but as far as like an update like I used to do with Elena, I haven't done one yet and I'm already for, like 15 weeks pregnant. Which I guess isn't that bad because I think I started my updates when I was about 15 weeks with Elena so I guess it's not too late but um, I wanted to kind of talk about how my pregnancy is going and different symptoms and things like that and this may be repeating for some of you guys if you guys watch my vlogs every day so I apologize for that. Um, I just want to make sure I kind of document it not just for you guys but for myself just so I can kind of look back because I actually watch the ones that I did with Elena sometimes and it's really interesting to kind of compare and things like that so um, yeah, and I didn't write any notes for this because I'm doing this really fast, like I said, because Elena's sleeping so much. I'm gonna go do that really fast. So, I don't know, let's see. So cravings, um, I talked about this the other day. I'm craving spicy foods, which is really, really weird because I don't normally like spicy foods. I usually hate spicy foods and I keep all spice out of my foods normally. And I just have never liked spicy food and all of a sudden I'm like craving it all the time and I want buffalo wings and I want sriracha sauce. Like anything that's spicy, I want. So that's really weird. Some people say it means I'm having a boy, but I don't know if that's the case or not. But I looked it up online and it said that usually if you crave spice, you're having a boy. So who knows? Um, what else am I craving? Um, Mongolian still. I still want Mongolian like every day. I like anything salty, anything savory, like that really salty, savory type of food, like soy sauce and stuff like that. And it's funny because I'm not craving anything sweet this time around. So it's just all about the spice and all about the like saltiness. So that's kind of weird. Um, as far as being sick goes, I'm in my second trimester so you would think that my sickness would be gone. Um, but actually it's weird because my gag reflex is still going strong and I didn't have this gag reflex problem with Elena as bad. I did a little bit but not quite as bad. But literally I will brush my teeth and like throw up because it makes me gag and it like literally just makes me want to throw up brushing my teeth like brushing my tongue because I have this really weird thing about wanting to brush my tongue and the other day I threw up in the toilet because I brushed my tongue and it's just annoying like I feel like it should be done like I shouldn't be throwing up anymore but it's just like this really weird gag reflex thing that I'm going through so I don't know what that's about it's really annoying we also got our genetics testing done and if you guys you guys some of you guys probably already know this because I think I mentioned it but everything came back normal I was so happy that is like one of the most stressful things to do during your pregnancy is getting the genetics testing because it's just like this weight on your shoulder until you hear from the doctor to know everything is okay but everything was fine so that's really good I was so happy about that I'm definitely bigger this time around, which is interesting. When I was about 15 weeks with Elena, I was way smaller, but I definitely have more of a belly this time around, but people always say that like your second time, your stomach or your uterus, I guess maybe, is more stretched out and kind of knows what to do the second time around, so I'm definitely showing a lot more. I'll show you guys a belly shot. but it's definitely more prominent and you can definitely see it, especially at the end of the day. It's weird because I don't look that pregnant in the mornings, but at night, like literally I look super pregnant, especially if I'm wearing like a tight shirt. And I don't know if it's just like all the food in my system or it's just like my stomach relaxes or something, but I look major pregnant at night and it's so weird. And also my boobs are freaking huge. And with Elena, my boobs didn't get super big, or my boobs got really big really, really early. Like that was the first thing I noticed. But only recently is when I noticed my boobs have gotten like enormous and it's just crazy. I don't even know. I'm still having trouble drinking water and it's horrible, you guys. I should probably be drinking water right now. As soon as I get done making this video, I'm gonna go drink some water. But it's just so hard for me to drink water for some reason. Like I can't do it. It's like I forget, like in the mornings I'll be doing so many different things that I don't think about drinking any water until like 12 o'clock at lunch or something because I'm so busy doing other things. I'm like, oh, I need to go drink water. So then I'll go to drink water, but then I'll get sidetracked with something else. And I'm just horrible at drinking water. And I know it's horrible and I feel so bad, but I really need to start drinking water. It's really, really important. So I'm going to kind of make a goal for myself to drink like two Nalgene bottles a day at least. Um, because I feel like I should be drinking that or more because the Nalgene bottles really aren't that big, maybe about like this big. And what's really hard too with this pregnancy is having a toddler during the pregnancy because toddlers, two-year-olds, you know, Elena is two years and like three months or something, three, four months. And um, 
they're hyper and Elena likes to jump around she likes to tackle like if I'm sitting on the couch she always like jumps on me or falls on me or um, runs and tackles me or something and I have to tell her, you know, Elena, you gotta be careful because there's a baby in there, but she forgets. Like, she's not gonna remember that, you know what I mean? And the other day she jumped on me, like, I didn't even see her coming, and she, like, jumped on me and, like, hit um, the top part of my stomach, almost like knocking the wind out of me, like, right where your diaphragm is, kinda. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, Elena, you can't do that. And it's just really hard with a toddler because they don't quite understand, but you have to, like, tell them, like, there's a baby in there, you have to be really careful. But she's getting the baby thing, I think, a lot more, especially because we have Peyton and Weston in the family, and she went to the baby's room. Um, that was the first thing she wanted to do this morning, was go into the baby's room. So she's kind of getting, I think, that there's going to be a baby in the house soon. And she always remembers that there's a baby. Like, sometimes she'll come up to me randomly and be like, baby tummy and she'll want to kiss my tummy randomly so it's like she'll remember at like random times throughout the day so for my prenatal vitamins I'm doing the one a day prenatal and it comes with this tablet here and this tablet here and this is the multivitamin multimineral supplement this is the DHA EPA supplement I'm not sure what that means but you have to take one of each every night and it's only one a day which by the way um, I learned from Judy it's Judy time that there are some that um, you have to take more than once a day, which I didn't know. And the ones that I were taking, I wasn't taking um, three times a day, which is what the label said to do. I was only taking one a day. So make sure you check your birth control labels because these ones are just one a day, which is way easier than trying to remember to take three a day. So these are the ones I'm taking. They're a little bit expensive. I think these were like $30. But um, so far I'm really liking them. They don't make me sick or anything like that. So I've been loving those. And then for my tummy, I've been using... Earth Mama Angel Baby Natural Stretch Oil, and I actually got this at, um, where did I get this? Whole Foods, and I really like it because it comes with a squirt, like a squirt top, and I just spray it on my stomach like this, and it kind of just like shoots out, so I just spray it on my stomach like six or seven times, and then just rub it all over my tummy, and then kind of on the back side where you might be able to get, you know, stretch marks back there, and you can also put this on your boobs as well, so that's what I've been using, and I've been really liking it. Um, this with Elena, I think I used cocoa butter and another oil. Um, but this is just what I'm using right now. And to be honest, the way I feel about stretch marks is if you're gonna get stretch marks, you're gonna get stretch marks. That's just the way it is. It's a genetic type of thing. It just depends on how big your baby gets, if your skin is stretchy. And I had Elena a month early, so I didn't get stretch marks because I feel like if I would have gone full term, there could have been a good chance that I would have gotten stretch marks. But because I didn't go full term, I don't know. So, you know, I feel like I'm going to do my best to try to prevent them, but if I get them, I get them, and there's not much that I can do about them. So I'm not going to go too crazy loco about using, like, 20 different products on my tummy every single night. Um, so this is just what I'm using once at night, once during the day, and so far it's working well. And it's also starting to feel a little bit of itchiness on my tummy, too, especially if it gets really dry. And another thing I've noticed is that it's winter, so it's a lot drier, you know, right now. So... Um, when I get really dry, I want to itch my tummy, so that's kind of bad, obviously. Um, so I have to try not to itch, and so when I do feel itchy, I just put some of that oil on, and I feel like it definitely helps. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my 15-week pregnancy update. I don't know how big the baby is right now. To be honest, my what to expect before you're expecting book is, or when you're expecting book, is packed away, and I have no idea where it is, so I haven't been able to read it. But I'm imagining the baby's maybe like the size of a, like maybe this big. That's what I would imagine. But I don't know, maybe like a potato, 15 week potato, I don't know. Anyways, if you guys know, please leave a comment in the lower bar. And if you guys are pregnant, let me know how far along you are. Or if you have any tips or what you think I might be having. You could also leave your favorite baby names. I love baby names, as you guys know. So I always love hearing your guys' favorite baby names. And I think that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.